So over the past few days we have seen the great restoration hit the game, where players who were affected by the inventory wipe bug have had their gear restored with what's basically the best loot in the game. We also have had players classed as group B and C who also got amazing high level loot. You even had some players like myself who were not affected in any way whatsoever, receiving 20 legendaries with max stats. Yet, I didn't, many others didn't suffer due to any bug. What's happened over the past few days you'd think would make people happy, but from what I've seen, it's actually done the complete opposite. And yeah, for sure you can use that old saying of, oh yeah, people just won't ever be happy. But to be honest, what people can fly have done actually here with this restoration in my opinion is taken away from the game. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So thousands of players received what PCF are calling God Road Loot. For the most part I kind of understand why they did this as in terms of actually restoring every single player that lost the loot and restoring that loot to be exact would be a difficult challenge. And to be honest people who have lost entire characters, I will understand and support them receiving compensation for their troubles. But after having a night to sleep on what's happened, I actually feel the way PCF have handled this will in fact impact the game in a negative way more so than positive. Right now let's forget about group B and C players and talk about group A players. These group A players lost entire characters meaning they couldn't even log back into said characters for a month. These players received their characters back with the addition of god rolled items at the same time. What this has done is compensate players who have been put off playing the game due to having character wipes with the best gear in the game, which has more or less left them with no reason to play the game as they already have what is for the most part the best gear in this game and what it offers. Why continue playing and farming for things you already have? This is a weird situation to be in and I don't envy PCF with their decision making here as it's obviously something they probably thought hard about and in reality what could they have done? What could they have done better? So yeah, group A players have received their characters back and at the same time have received the best gear for said characters. Now after doing a ton of research into players affected by this, I've seen somewhat 15% of players who had this character white bug not actually continue playing the game, yet the other 85% simply made new classes and continued playing. I myself have many friends who went about it this way, they lost a character and just created a new one. Here's the crazy things, these players who continue playing after losing their characters are for the most part at a point now where their character was restored with the best gear in the game, this has done nothing but take away their need to play on those newer created characters due to being able to just transfer over that gear. As once you get used to these game's mechanics, the farming aspect is the only real end game there is. Give players what they are currently grinding for means the grind for them is pointless. And well guys, this is only those group A players I'm talking about. What about group B and C players, who they can't determine apart? Within that time period of the bug happening, it seems as though even if you dismantled a legendary because it was bad, sold it, whatever, you will be compensated with that perfect raw version of it. I play the game on a daily, I never had an issue with anything being wiped. For sure I dismantled legendaries, I don't think I ever sold any. Yet I got 20 top level legendaries for seemingly no reason at all. My pals I play with every day are chasing that top tier loot, they never had a problem with this bug, yet were rewarded loot they were currently farming for. My one pal got 6 top level death shields. He has been farming for this weapon night and day for the past 2 weeks. All of a sudden, he logs in and sees 6 of them in his inventory. What's left for him to do now? And this guard roll loot was rewarded to thousands of players who were not affected in any way, like myself. Most of these people feel now that they don't have a reason to continue playing. I myself, I didn't get loot that will help me in reality much, but knowing that I am playing with people who had shit handed to them on a plate doesn't really sit right with me, especially when it's not stuff they lost. I also know there are thousands of people out there that play this game more than me and they didn't get anything. How must these players be feeling knowing most other people had the best road loot in the game handed out to them? I mean I ain't no game developer, but I know for sure one's mindset playing this kind of game. I've been playing looter shooters and grindy games for many many years now. 
It's a race amongst players. It's a challenge amongst players. People like to show off their stuff. Where in terms of other players deep down envy what they have and what they've earned and it pushes them forward to farm harder and longer. Once that best loot in the game becomes as common as muck, even if you don't have said loot, it deters you from wanting to play and farm for it. Because at the end of the day, your farming for the next month to get a top level loot won't really mean a thing. And when that's all your game offers in terms of endgame, it seriously does affect the game. What it seems people can fly have done here is panicked and just given most people the stuff they are chasing and need. I get the gist that they just want players to be happy and a game in a state where it's playable. I don't get the feeling from them that they care if people continue to play. I get the feeling that they want the game bug free and in a state where they can just leave it and probably move on, as weird as that sounds. I may be wrong here but the choices of late don't seem to be those of a company where they want to keep players happy with longevity because what they have done here is taken that away. I mean it's a weird one as I know people will be sitting there like oh you're just looking for things to complain about. This 100% isn't true, I will continue playing. I still have loot to find and I still enjoy the game. But how many people out there don't have anything to play for, don't have loot to grind for, have had loot handed to them so there's no real point now in continue playing. So this great restoration although I know they mean good and want to make players happy again, I get the feeling it was nothing but a great mistake. And all that a short time will probably have the opposite effect to the one they want if their mentality at this restoration wasn't for them to have the game in a state where they can leave it good and move on. All I know is, like I said, now I've had time to think about this and what they have done, people will enjoy that top level loot for a short time. Then when that realisation of there's nothing else to play for kicks in, they will simply move on. But hey guys, this is just how I see things. I would want nothing more than right now to be proved wrong because I love this game. I want it to have that longevity and it be that game we all wanted it to be. A game which goes on for a long time, keeping many gamers happy like myself, who thought it would fill that void missing from other games in this genre. So please, be my guest, prove me wrong. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.